Today I'm going to show you when it's time to harvest potatoes grown in containers. So typically it takes about 80 days for first early potatoes to be, to be ready for harvest. You'll notice as the potato plant reaches maturity it produces flowers and when those flowers appear that's a sign that the potato plant is starting to produce tubers. But if you harvest those potatoes as soon as the flowers appear what you'll end up with is tiny tiny potatoes that would have grown on to be a much larger size so it's best to wait till after that period even notice some of the potatoes develop some fruit that looks similar to tomatoes now these are the true potato seeds you can actually grow potatoes from those seed pods but it does require a little bit of processing and it's much easier to grow straight from a tuber like I've done videos on planting potatoes from tubers so go and have a look at that I'll leave a link up here when I plant potatoes in the ground, I use the technique of planting potatoes in wood chips. Now that allows me to plant on top of the of the garden soil and in a, a dedicated raised bed on top of a raised bed, which feeds my potato plants, provides a really loose soil for the potatoes to grow in, and then I can harvest some really nice potatoes. And this, as you can see, some really impressive potatoes that we can get out of the out of this technique of growing potatoes in wood chips. And with that we'll plant in March and we'll be ready to harvest by September time. And that's normally my main crop. But with first earlies I like to grow those in containers. So those first early potatoes that I planted I've already harvested those and I've got second crops growing and I'll be able to harvest these in, an, in about another month. And if you look here closely you can start to see that the, the potatoes are about to produce flowers. So as soon as these flowers open up, I know that this plant is starting to produce potatoes for me. But I'm going to wait on for at least another month till after these potatoes are finished blooming and maybe set some fruit. And I'll start waiting until the potato plant dies back. One of the things that some, you might hear some people tell you is wait till the potato plant completely dies back. Now, if you're growing in the ground, the, heart, the bad thing about that is that the potatoes as they start to reach maturity so that's when peak pest attacks happen so you'll get a lot of attacks from slugs and wireworms at that point especially at that point more than any other time but when I'm growing potatoes in containers I like the potatoes to get to this stage where they're starting to die back I mean this is natural dieback of the potato plant it's not blight so don't worry about that um, blight appears in much more blotchy uh, patches and you'll notice that when the potato plant starts to die back, you'll notice this yellowing of the leaves. You'll notice that the potato plant's falling back. There's still a little bit of greenage. There's some of the potato plants that have died. I mean, some will, some will tell you to wait till that point and harvest. I think that's a little bit too late, really. I think this is an ideal point to harvest. So let's get, let's get these harvested. You can see the technique that I used in planting these potatoes in the way that I did and the results that they've yielded. So let's go for pot number one. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Empty that out So there we go, here we go Some nice potatoes here nice size potatoes I mean one of the things when you grow potatoes in containers is I don't think they'll ever be as as big as when I grow them in the ground but I'm quite happy with that so that's my potatoes from bucket number one there's a couple of nice ones there and some tiddlers but that's okay that's not bad from one bucket it's a 30 litre pot let's give this next bucket a tip over and see what happens So here we go. That's another one. That's a nice one. There's another one. So this look this bucket looks a bit be better than the other one. I 
think that's it. So all in all, that's not bad. Those potatoes there. From two buckets, I don't think that's too bad. I don't think that's too bad at all. So the second bucket looks like it's done better than the first one. And I don't think that's too bad for uh, some potatoes that are planted in buckets left to one side and forgot about. I didn't, uh, I didn't worry about watering them. I didn't worry about feeding them. I just left them and completely waited. All in all, that's not a bad potato harvest, I don't think, from two buckets. That's when to harvest potatoes. When they're starting to dry back, I think that's the best time to pick them and get them, get them ready. What you can do is you can cut the tops off and leave them like that to harden their skins off underground before you pull them. That's if you want them for storing, but if you want them fresh and you want to use them straight away, I don't think you can beat freshly picked potatoes straight into the hat from garden, straight into the kitchen and chipped up and made into a nice plate of chips. I don't think you can beat it. So I'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.